Hi, my name is Taylor Berry, and I will be talking to you about the life of Lily. I got Lily when she was around four months old from a foster, which takes in dogs that are going to be put down. She was very shy, as she still is right today. Um, she, yeah, she wasn't the first up to the fence like all the other dogs were, and I knew when I saw her in that corner, she was going to be the one I was going to adopt. But prior to me adopting her, I was actually thinking about getting different types of dogs like German Shepherd, Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever. But the size of my house, we couldn't have that big of a dog because it just wouldn't it wouldn't be the right size for a house. It was too small, wouldn't have enough running room, playing room, and so I went to a second option of getting uh, an Amstaff, which is fairly small, but still a big, bigger, tough dog that I really wanted. And yes, during the adoption process, I knew what I was getting into because I knew that pit bulls were discriminated for being a vicious dog that would just want to bite people and eat people and tear their limbs off. but. That's not what I thought about this breed. My grandma always told me that it's not the dog, it's the owner. You train these dogs to be like that, but I could also do my part and train my dog to be one of the greatest pit bulls and make an example for these dogs. Because if my dog, while I'm walking her around the block, and people see my dog as a nice, acting, good dog, they're gonna think of her as a good dog. If my dog was barking and growling at other kids, people are not gonna be wanting to be around my dog and they're gonna think of it as, oh, that crazy pit bull that wants to attack my child. But if I have a good dog and she's well-trained, obedient, people are gonna be like, Oh my God, that's Lily. She's one of the nicest pit bulls out there, and they're gonna. People are gonna think different about. Oh my gosh, is this dog gonna attack me? Or, oh my gosh, when am I gonna see this dog again? It's so nice. You having a well-trained pit bull is making a great example for this breed. And then when they think about getting dogs. You're gonna make them think, oh, maybe I should adopt a pit bull and do my part. And it's funny, at age 13, I was thinking about this. I knew that I wanted a dog that was different. I knew I wanted a dog that I could help. And I knew I wanted a dog to make a difference. I put all the discriminations aside and her capabilities it started looking at her as an individual because it's not her fault that she is known as a vicious dog. It's our fault for giving these breeds a brand. Going through training with her was pretty easy actually. Um, I trained her to do the basic dog thing, sit, stay, that's a curb that was, because we have this curb that blocks off the garage door, it's like this metal ramp, and she cannot pass it, when I walk out and I see her behind me, I say that's a curb, she won't pass that, so she won't run out when she sees a dog or another person. Um, also, I pulled on her ears tail and messed with their paws not like terribly bad but just in case like cause we used to have parties and kids would come over and you never know if that kid would try to grab onto their ears or their tail or the paws and they might nip at them because who likes to get messed with but I messed with those and I also used to pet her when she ate 
and I used to mess with her toys so she also wouldn't get territorial around those things. And who knew that uh, my mom got pregnant with my brother Hudson. Um, And that's when I knew I had to step up my game and start getting ready for my baby brother and start getting her ready for my baby brother. Uh, I also knew that she wasn't going to get the attention she wanted from my mom because she was going to be paying attention to Hudson. Uh, But I also had to get Lily ready for this baby because I didn't want her acting hyper around the baby. I didn't want her barking around the baby. And I just wanted her to be good around the baby. And this also put me to the test to see her true boundaries on what she can do. As of 2018, Lily does perfect around Hudson actually. It's crazy because she, when you look back in the past years, she, as a pit bull, has every capability as any other dog. A Labrador, German Shepherd, Golden Retriever, Chihuahua. Any dog can be a good dog. That's what people don't realize. Lily does perfect around little kids. Lily does perfect around males. Lily does perfect around females. Lily does perfect with other dogs. That's what people have to start realizing that any dog could be a good dog and any dog could be a bad dog. And people need to stop discriminating other dogs for being mean. And they have to start realizing that humans are putting these dogs at fault and the media is destroying these dogs terribly making these dogs look demonized vicious and you need to stop doing that as of now so we could and it's our job to make these dogs a great example to show that these people discriminating these dogs are wrong 